The House of Mouse has officially entered the streaming wars, and they mean business. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're ranking the Disney Plus originals so far. For this list, we're looking at the best 10 Disney Plus originals released on the streaming service to date. Oh yeah, well, it's like a time machine. Please note, we will not be including content that had previously been released, either in full or partially, as is the case with Spark Shorts. Number 10, Pick of the Litter. This series centers around six puppies. For many viewers, we can stop right there. We've already sold them on the show. But while the cuteness factor is a major selling point for this documentary series, it also has a whole lot of heart and a substantial amount of educational value. As you can tell, Paco is a teenager and doesn't listen to its parents. <laughs> Pick of the Litter follows Paco, Pacino, Rafi, Amara, Tulane, and Tartan, six adorable pups who've been selected to potentially serve as guide dogs for the visually impaired. He's definitely not ready to progress. Not all dogs are suited to be a guide dog. The series brings attention to this often overlooked process and the difficulties and challenges faced not only by the would-be seeing eye dogs, but also the people who take on their training. Number nine, Noel. Disney's first big budget Christmas film to be released directly onto their streaming service sadly did not blow critics away. But at 57% on Rotten Tomatoes, it's actually better reviewed than many films that are today considered modern holiday classics, including How the Grinch Stole Christmas, The Holiday, Home Alone 2, and Jingle All the Way. Dad always said it's not about what the kid looks like, it's what's in the inside that's important. You really need to connect with their heart. Oh, I love that. How's that done? I have no idea. I just focus really hard, I guess. Starring Anna Kendrick and Bill Hader, Noelle centers on Kris Kringle's two adult children, who, when the time comes for Santa's mantle to be passed, must come to grips with what it means for their respective futures. It might not be the spiritual successor to It's a Wonderful Life, but it's silly feel-good fun. Oh, I like your pants. They're jolly. Yeah, they're yoga pants, like yours. Okay, yes, these are my yogurt pants. And come Christmas time, that's often more than enough to help get you in the holiday spirit. Which is why I know that we have a real Santa right here in the pole. My sister, Noelle. What? Number eight, Encore. Disney might be best known for their scripted content, but as they venture into the world of streaming services, they're trying to give subscribers a little bit of everything. A uh, nut comes in to make your bed. Hang on, hang on, let's do that again. Mrs. Greer, you just, it's a walk and talk. Encore is a reality series that sees host Kristen Bell reuniting the casts of real world high school musical productions for, well, an encore. Each episode, a different group is brought together to replay their roles from high school productions of famous musicals like Annie, Grease, and Oklahoma. Despite the silly premise, the process often proves surprisingly cathartic and emotional for all parties involved. I know she didn't have a dad. Or a mom. Well, she didn't have much anything. I know she didn't, man. I mean, y'all were like my family, so... It's not for everyone, but fans of theater and feel-good reality TV are sure to sing its praises. Number 7. High School Musical, The Musical, The Series Since we're on the subject of high school musicals, now seems like an appropriate time to discuss this mouthful of a series. Apparently, Disney is not afraid to get a little meta, as this scripted series centers on a group of students attending a fictionalized version of the high school where Disney's high school musical was shot. Auditions are tomorrow after school. The show could change your lives. And I'm saying this as a background dancer from the original movie. And wouldn't you know it, the school decides to stage High School Musical, The Musical, under the guidance of the new drama teacher. Once you wrap your mind around the concept, the series actually has a lot to offer, both for diehard fans of the franchise and newcomers alike. Hashtag ultimate comeback. Though it may seem like Disney is retreading old ground with this one, the end result is surprisingly fresh. But why are we practicing the bows when we haven't even practiced the play? Because you start with the hardest dance that takes the longest to learn. It's in the Big Book of Broadway, page 374. Number 6. Marvel's Hero Project more so than perhaps any other generation before them, today's youth are growing up in an era of superhero worship. The Disney-owned Marvel Cinematic Universe dominates the box office and the world of merchandising. Rather than just give kids more adult heroes to look up to, however, Disney Plus is using the Marvel brand to remind children that you don't need to be a grown-up or have superpowers to be a hero. People with two hands can't shoot glitter out of their arm. Might as well take your difference and make something really cool. 
This documentary series follows everyday children who've taken it upon themselves to change the world for the better. My work helped them learn that it can be really cool to be different. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> heartwarming and insanely inspiring, Marvel's Hero Project is exactly the sort of content that will have parents feeling good about this particular subscription service. My sister is a superhero. She already was, but like, now we have proof. Number five, the world according to Jeff Goldblum. Just hand Jeff Goldblum a phone book to read out loud and people would gladly hang on his every word but have him tackle various everyday subjects that interest him, and you've got the makings of some seriously fascinating TV. I mean, the athlete has to take a look at this, say, oh, here's the shoe, and go, I like it already. I haven't even felt it on my foot, but I like the way it looks. I think this is gonna be, mm. From sneakers and denim to gaming, ice cream, and bikes, each episode takes subscribers on a journey as Jeff Goldblum learns about the things that interest him, but which he doesn't necessarily know much about. I'm gonna sit on this if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> What's that do? It warms it up. <laughs> what happens when you sit on something, man? I've never sat on a tub of ice cream. Quirky, rife with tangents, and just a whole lot of fun, this series might not be the most educational docu-series ever made, but Goldblum's enthusiasm is more than enough to get you hooked. When you look at this, maybe you see a, a torch that lights the way into a, a brighter future. Number four, Lady and the Tramp. Disney is seemingly intent on remaking all their classic films. Unfortunately, few have managed to match the quality or timeless charms of the originals. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Please, those are fragile. Oh. Don't, don't. That's too bad, what a shame. Uh, not every remake needs to be a massive production, and we think that Disney made a really good choice in sending Lady and the Tramp straight to their streaming service. To be clear, that's not to say it's a bad film. In fact, at 65% on Rotten Tomatoes, it's been better received than Dumbo, The Lion King, and Aladdin. You know, street dogs are just like us. They just aren't lucky enough to have homes. That's all. Then it's a darn good thing you made it back to yours. Lady and the Tramp is just more of a small-scale, intimate story. One that doesn't scream must-see in theaters. Watched from the comfort of your own home, however, it's a great little film with a pitch-perfect voice cast. He's a street dog! No, he's not. He has a home. Number three, Togo. Few companies can attract talent quite like Disney. Case in point, we never really thought we'd see living legend Willem Dafoe starring opposite a dog on a movie poster, but there you have it. What does he bring to the breed? <laughs> the heart of a survivor. Togo tells the real-life story of Leonard Seppala, who, in 1925, alongside his lead sled dog Togo, risked life and limb to deliver medicine to the town of Nome, Alaska. Defoe has already earned himself ample praise for his committed performance. He's too old. He'll never make that distance. Got one more in your pup. And while dog-centric dramas tend to be overly sentimental or unabashedly sappy, Based on what critics are saying, it seems that screenwriter Tom Flynn struck a perfect balance of emotion, self-seriousness, and heartwarming moments. Of course, the epic visuals don't hurt either. Number two, the Imagineering story. Die-hard Disney fans, this one's for you. That being said, the magic of this documentary series is so potent, it could convert even the most cynical of subscribers and inspire them to visit the Magic Kingdom. We hope that through our television shows that you will join us and take part in the building of Disneyland and that you'll find here a place of knowledge and happiness. Tracing the history of the Disney parks around the world, beginning with Disneyland in California, the Imagineering story goes behind the scenes to explore the many ups and downs, successes, and failures the company has experienced over the decades, while also taking a closer look at the ride and attraction design process. Pirates of the Caribbean. It's been here since uh, 1967, and uh, it's a symphony of all the talents of Imagineering. If six hours of content doesn't cut it, check out One Day at Disney, which goes behind the scenes with various Disney employees. I can't believe I get paid to do this. <laughs> Let's go make some magic. So, what about you guys? Which Disney Plus original has made the streaming service most worth it for you? My guess is you'll say the show that we've got at number one, and if not the show, one specific adorable character. But let's make our way through the honorable mentions before we see our top pick. What is a friend? What is art? What is time? Time can be future or past. <sighs> nope, I'm still lost. I'm trying to beat my personal record. It's five seconds. I'm going around the whole entire building. Go. Before 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Mandalorian It's been called the top TV show in the world. Not only has The Mandalorian dethroned Stranger Things as the most watched original streaming series, its global popularity in terms of demand eclipses even that of Game of Thrones. Although I acknowledge that bounty hunting is a complicated profession. So, all things considered, it's only natural that this landmark series take the top spot on our list today. Draw their fire, I'll take it out! Acceptable. Go! The first live-action Star Wars series has expanded the already massive franchise in unexpected and exciting ways, delivering new original stories in a galaxy far, far away. You need to drop your rifle. I'm a Mandalorian. Weapons are part of my religion. Then you are not getting your parts back. Fine. Great production values, a compelling lead character, and of course, Baby Yoda have made The Mandalorian the streaming service's biggest selling point. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.